project manager, program manager, anyone looking over a bunch of different projects, you know that the tools out there between docs, sheets, and apps don't often cut it. So this is a template to help you manage everything in one place. Oftentimes there's docs that come along with the portfolio and the project management. So we'll take a look at that. We'll be able to manage our core stack of projects here and we'll look at different visuals and views to help various stakeholders create their own unique views into the, the data. And then lastly, we'll cover how to review project progress, oftentimes in those weekly status meetings. So let's take a look. Within the strategy doc, oftentimes you wanna write out something that's more long form about the vision, the mission of the company and how you manage projects. And you can do so within the first page within your Coda doc. Oftentimes you'll have some sort of visual that you want to show off how you manage projects. And Coda has great embeds across Miro and Figma and other tools to be able to put in some of the, the visuals outside of the, the written word. And then maybe you wanna start tracking goals. Here are two excellent templates for goal tracking within Coda. Now these docs, you may create other pages or sub pages within the strategy docs. What code allows you to do is put in uh, sort of like pages in a, in a notebook or tabs in a spreadsheet, different areas to have your different pieces of writing. So we can see untitled here underneath the strategy doc. Next up is the setup. So if you wanna customize this doc, what you can do is start adding the different teams that are involved. We just have some few common teams in here, but let's say that there's another team called the, the spaceship team and they uh, keep track of all the stuff that is related to the moon. And let's see who the team lead is. So what we're doing is we're building a team page so that when anyone comes to this doc, they'll know who is working on what, can reach out to them if they need more information. And also this team uh, page, specifically this table, like the phases and statuses are what's gonna drive the main projects page that we'll get to in just a second. So as we move on from teens to phases, here are some common phases that we see in projects. If you wanna add a new one, like take a break, we can do so. That will show up in the project pipeline. And lastly, the different statuses Four common ones that we see across the weekly status updates, but again, if you wanna add new statuses, you can do so here. So these three tables will funnel into our master projects. So for example, uh, here are a few projects, the seven that are currently in our portfolio. If we wanted to add a project, I can do so like this. And maybe a new project that's coming up is Save the Trees. And which team is in charge of it? We'll see the teams that were already there. And then the spaceship team that we added. Oops, I didn't name it quite correctly. Let's go in and open up that team name and just adjust it there. On the phases, we'll add the new phases. It's in the backlog, so it isn't started yet. I'll throw a PM on this. Put in the launch date. Awesome, you'll notice that these different columns aren't just text columns like you're used to in spreadsheets. They are more like apps. So these are the sort of things that help make sure that everything's on rails, that we're not actually putting information in the wrong columns and also just makes it more delightful. It's fun to come to a doc where there's your team's faces here and some fun colored emojis as the phases. We're really trying to create habits of that weekly check-in in progress and making sure that people are updating the projects so that we can and ensure that they're delivered on time and on budget. So next we have projects. Let's take a look at our review. So if you were to look at the, the meetings, what you can start doing, oftentimes you have a sheet over here where you're tracking your progress and then you have a meeting notes doc or an email over in another place. Now this project portfolio is your central hub. So you can start taking your meeting notes in the same place that you're doing your project tracking. Here's just an example of what a meeting notes could look like. Code is gonna feel a lot like a Google Doc. You could type, do bullet points. What makes it a bit different is because everything's in one place and connected, you can start at mentioning anything you want. So I can at mention people to have them be notified. You can at mention pages that we've set up, including that untitled page that we just added. And you can start at mentioning things like specific projects. So if you're having a conversation about running the ads, uh, Make sure not to buy a billboard. 
no one's driving these days, uh, you can do so. And that will sit here in the meeting notes. People can easily come back to this, click on the running the ads, get more information about that specific project, even put updates if, if they want to. So now that we're taking a look at the meetings, oftentimes the meetings between a, a check-in, uh, very high-level statuses, and then the specific updates to the projects. So there's two ways that folks are updating the projects. One is going directly to that projects page and clicking the log update. These are buttons which make the CodaDoc a bit more interactive and fun, like an app. So here I've added the update, it's automatically taking today. Uh, maybe this week there's some drama, there's ups and downs, and we can put in some more information of what those ups and what those downs are. Um, maybe everyone's tired this week and people are just needing a break. So I've, I've added that there, it's showing up. The last time that the Winmore Clients project was updated was on July 2nd. Awesome, it's all connected, I don't have to put that in. I don't have to delete that updates column either from a sheet. So there's a more uh, standardized form of being able to log those updates. I'll be able to see those anytime. If I were to open up this project, I can see a running list of the project updates. And also if I were to go into that uh, other table for the project updates, I can see all the things in which we're, we're adding and commenting on for the project progress. So in a nutshell, that's what a project portfolio looks like within Coda. We have this great area to do all the reviews, whether it's freeform note-taking or specifically logging updates on the projects. We have this area in which we can manage all of our projects in one place, but also creating different views for different teams. So we have the sales team able to create their own view. The PMs, Maria just focuses on her own. Maybe I'm logging in, I just wanna see my own projects. Or maybe we're looking at most recently launched progress so that we can update those to the stakeholders. You can start creating different views for different folks. If you're sharing out to the, the Gantt-headed uh, executives or the marketing folks who really love to look at calendars, we can design views for them. And then we can start uh, reformatting the, the projects in dashboards, either by having live updated written dashboards like this or more structured views like so. And then the, the very first part of the bread of the sandwich, you're able to write any docs that you want, whether that's high level strategic docs or technical docs for each of the projects. Really hope this works for, for you and your team. Reach out, let us know what's resonating, what's not, excited for you all to use Coda.